Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Jim Giggins, and with us is Michael Weinstein of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. There are some disturbing numbers right now as to the numbers of cases of uh, AIDS and HIV. What are the numbers now? Increasing? Decreasing? What the CDC recently said was that the number of cases on a yearly basis was actually 40 percent higher than they had originally thought, and that goes back about a dozen years. So instead of the estimated 40,000 cases, they now believe that there are 56,000 new cases per year in the United States, which is, you know, very high. A total of how many in this country now? About 1.1 million. And in the world? 33 million. And those numbers are holding? They're well, we've seen quite a bit of progress on the global level. I mean, the, the numbers of deaths have come down dramatically, new infections have come down, and the number of people being treated has increased drastically. So actually, on a global basis, uh, we've seen quite a bit of improvement. And that improvement is because of education? What would the improvement come from? Well, the single biggest factor in the last five years has been the introduction of antiretroviral therapy in Africa and in poor countries around the world. I mean, AIDS Healthcare Foundation uh, is in eight African countries, you know, from cities to rural villages where we're providing life-saving drugs and we're seeing people come back from being skeletal to working and, and having flourishing lives. So uh, that's, and because of that, people are willing to be tested. So I think the real magic ingredient has been the introduction of, uh, of these drugs into these poor environments in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. And in the United States, we, we can do more. What are we not doing that we should be doing? Well, I'd say we can start with the prevention end, which is uh, you cannot see a condom commercial on a network in this country during prime time, and, uh, and several of them won't run them at all. Uh, we're not doing sex education in the schools. We're not distributing condoms in places where people hook up, like bars. Um, and um, there are 25% of the people who are positive don't know they're positive. Uh, we don't do enough testing. Um, and a lot of people don't have access to the healthcare system, and even those who know it are not being treated. So that whole stew put together basically means that despite the fact that we're spending $23 billion a year on AIDS in this country, uh, we're failing. And to make progress, to make the progress we need to do, what do you suggest? Well, I think if you say what's the one factor in countries that are doing well at AIDS, it's political will. And that means that we put aside our uh, religious prejudices, our, our, our cultural uh, hang-ups, and say, you know, we're going to win the war against AIDS in this country. And I think that goes from the individual level to different communities to, to, to uh, the White House and to the Congress. And I think that, uh, you know, 28 years into this, uh, it's kind of shocking that the United States is so far behind. I mean, we're trying to teach the rest of the world how to deal with it, but we can't deal with it ourselves. The, name the countries that are doing what they should be doing, and, and what is it that they're doing that we're not? Well, you see rich countries and poor countries that are uh, bringing down the rates of HIV. You have Uganda in Africa as a prime example, Senegal. Thailand, and then you have rich countries like Northern Europe where the rates are much, much lower than And what are they doing in Northern Europe that we're not doing? They're teaching sex in the schools. They have a great public health system. Um, and they're running uh, public education campaigns that are very explicit. They're not worrying about people's tender sensibilities. They're worrying about stopping the disease. And they're succeeding to a certain extent. Yes, they are. I mean, the reality today is, is that we have everything we need to control AIDS on a global basis. We know what works in prevention, testing, and uh, treatment. And if we had the will to do what is necessary, um, we would see year over year the numbers coming down, and eventually, uh, really, uh, the threat to the world would be drastically reduced. But when you mention this to those uh, in power, you get a certain pushback. Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in the Bush administration, you've had the promotion of abstinence-only education, which is a disaster, uh, and, we, we, and we're exporting it to other countries Unfortunately, as well. we have run out of time. I apologize, right. but thank you so much for joining us with this very important information. I'm Jim Giggins with Local Edition. Thank you also for joining us.